2011. Twitch is a spin-off of Justin.tv. Live streaming predates Twitch. Game streaming was developed by the online video streaming community. Live streamers were early internet pioneers like iJustine, who started on Justin TV. Justin.tv regularly hosted live streamers. Uh, cell phone data cards in it and streams live 24-7 over the internet. Who occasionally mixed in video game play. It started as a separate category on Justin.tv, but was later spun off into its own service called Twitch. What if we just focused on growing gaming? I actually hadn't thought of creating a separate site yet. I just thought, this is the great content. I want to grow that part of the site. And as it started taking off, I realized, okay, well, this deserves its own its own place to live. That's past. To grow and maintain Twitch as a home for those streaming video games online, Justin TV was eventually shut down. We've remembered as one of the most awkward internet experiments of all time. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for all the time you spent on the site. Thank you for all the user feedback, even the complaints. We appreciate them. They've made us better. We really appreciate all the time you spent. First Twitch subscription button. In its current form, Twitch has existed for a long time. Not all famous streamers had a subscription button. Day 9's Day 9 TV channel had the first sub button. No box was checked, says Twitch CEO Emmett Shear. We designed it with him, Shear said. Due to hard coding, his was the only channel with a sub button. Full-time game streamers strive to become Twitch partners. Participants in the 2011 partnership program had to meet certain criteria. Streams needed 500 concurrent viewers, 1,000 followers, and 30,000 total channel views to qualify. In those days, many streamers succeeded in gaining large audiences. Twitch's partner criteria is now more ambiguous. 2012. CBS interactive deal with Twitch and MLG. With Twitch TV and Major League Gaming, CBS Interactive has entered a rapidly growing live gaming and esports categories. Globally, CBS Interactive Games now serves over 3 billion minutes of live gaming and esports content monthly. Twitch raises $15 million for esports. Twitch captures the joy of victory and agony of professional gaming. Round one of the US 3v3 tournament has begun. The company serves over 20 million unique esports viewers per month. And now, Bessemer Venture Partners has invested $15 million in it. We want to invest in Twitch, Ethan Kurzweil said. We're looking forward to them accelerating their lead and continuing to change the rules as they go. 2013, the Twitch community has raised $8 million for charity. Gamers are kind. Not only do we lead sedentary lives, but we also give generously to charity. More than $8 million has been raised through Twitch's website to date. This money went to Doctors Without Borders and Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. This is a network of nonprofits running their own fundraising. Twitch is used by charity marathons such as Speed Demos Archive, Ethian Lives Gaming for Good, can't wait to play them gang! 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 Wanna play some games? And Loading Ready Runs Desert Bust for Hope. Twitch connects kids in need with caring gamers. What better community to respond to a plea for help for children than one that has never lost touch with its inner child? Twitch changes the game. In support of Extra Life, Twitch has dedicated a section to charity broadcasters. Maiku Yama said summer games done quick, and Awesome Games Done Quick raised nearly $700,000. It also benefits KB Mod, a group of well-known Twitch broadcasters. Participate in marathons to win rewards. The group has amassed a total of $105,421. Able Gamers is a gaming charity that raises money for handicapped players using Twitch. This year, Twitch alone has raised $40,000 for charity. 2014. Twitch Plays Pokemon surpassed 6.5 million views in five days. The activity was labeled as a social experiment by Twitch Plays Pokemon, and boy was it ever. It received 6.5 million views and 2.5 million button pushes throughout the event. Finally, in a little over a month, the Twitch community defeated the Elite Four. To finish this job in 16 days, 9 hours, 55 minutes, and 4 seconds, they had to work together and set their differences aside.
Google and Amazon fight over Twitch. Several publications reported in 2014 that Google had paid $1 billion for Twitch, giving it a substantial video property to supplement YouTube. This was premature reporting. The move made sense given Google's expertise in online video. Then there was Amazon. Twitch was snatched up by Amazon, led by Jeff Bezos. Up too, but that was actually not supposed to be a bad pun. And then disclosure. <laughs> Really good. A guy like you actually. Amazon allegedly paid $970 million for Twitch to escape antitrust investigation. These events allowed Twitch to grow while maintaining its original goal. 2015 The Rise of Swatting on Twitch. Streamers and fans are bound to be bad actors because Twitch is based on the internet. Toxic personal vendettas against streamers have turned deadly for some Twitch viewers. We wouldn't know swatting without Twitch. When a streamer is swatted, a SWAT squad is dispatched. The viewer contacts the streamer's local police station and enacts a critical situation requiring law enforcement assistance. Mr. Koopa Troopa 787 didn't hear the cops arrive until they broke into his house and drew guns on his family. Aside from the fact that no one was hurt, the authorities recognized it as a swatting incident. So let it be with me, but do not involve my family in any way, shape, or form with this. Unlucky for a Kansas man, he was swatted even though he was not the intended target. A swatter called the cops on Andrew Finch, 28 years old, after an online feud over a Call of Duty battle erupted. Finch was gunned down by police at his front door, and the swatter, Tyler Barris, now faces manslaughter charges. Setting a home on fire by mistake, young children should not be playing with matches or anything else that could cause a fire. Several streamers allegedly ignored the warning by setting fire to their own hair. Anna Playing accidentally lit her own hair on fire. Luckily, put out the raging fire quickly. Compared to Dasuke, she got off easy. Oh merde! What the fuck? Je me suis cramé les cheveux. Dasuke paused his 2015 Minecraft stream to replenish his lighter collection. After spilling liquid on a lighter matchbox, he tried to light it with no success. house quickly burned. In the end, Dasuke and his family were unharmed. Given the amount of flammable material in Dasuke's room, the fire should have spread faster. It could have been much worse. Twitch holds the streaming rights to Bob Ross's work. Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood are classics on PBS. From 1983 to 1994, the network aired another hit. Bob Ross is the star of The Joy of Painting. That's the name of the game. It's enjoying. You really already enjoy what you do in life. If you do, then you'll do a good job. I forgot to put it in there. Oh, it's burning my mouth! Ross died in 1995, but because of Twitch, he lives on in our memories and online. To celebrate, the video game streaming service acquired the rights to rerun The Joy of Painting in its entirety. Twitch decided to keep Bob Ross's show going indefinitely due to its popularity. That means the Bob Ross Twitch channel still has all 31 seasons available if you want to relax and enjoy his talents. 2016, IRL category. Building a Twitch community takes effort. Time commitment prevents many streamers from becoming full-time. The IRL category was introduced late 2016, and it would be an understatement to say that most game-focused broadcasters were unhappy. This decision enraged Twitch streamers. Some called the network's newcomers polarizing. Famous streamers like Professor Broman have complained about the IRL category. And even when he wasn't gaming, people expected him to broadcast. 
To help streamers better define their content, Twitch removed IRL category in mid-September 2018. 2017, streamer who got swatted on a plane. In late April, a bomb threat at an airport was traced to Paul Ice Poseidon Danino. Law enforcement escorted him off his plane. Twitch soon banned him permanently. Danino then posted a video about the situation on YouTube. In it, he expressed his displeasure with the Twitch ban, stating that he had not broken any rules. Oh, I just, my terminal, uh, well, whatever, what could people do, right? Like, it was a fucking joke, dude. Don't blame, don't pit that shit on me, what the fuck? 24-hour marathon stream ended tragically. Brian Poshybrid Vignalt, a 22-hour World of Tanks streamer, died on February 19th. He was 35 years old and a dad of three. Vignalt was streaming to benefit Make-A-Wish. Vignalt would stream for up to 20 hours on multiple days of the week. One of those weeks culminated in the charity stream. Stream moderators say Vignalt got up to smoke around 3.30 a.m. CST, 22 hours into his stream. Initially, viewers thought he dozed, but the next day, a friend saw him on Discord and messaged him. No, it wasn't Vignalt. Instead, a detective from Virginia Beach Police said they were looking into Vignalt's death. 2018, Drake and Ninja have set a new Twitch record. Rapper Drake has taken an interest in Ninja, a prominent Fortnite streamer. They joined together for a game smashing the service's record for concurrent watchers. Following Drake's viral tweet to his 36.7 million followers, the viewership increased from 200,000 to just under 400,000 in just 30 minutes. What? Are you kidding me? Drake and Ninja crushed the record for most concurrent viewers in a single stream with over 600,000 viewers while playing Fortnite. Anti-swatting program. Swatting is the sickest prank a person can perform. A SWAT team is dispatched to their home after a report of a heinous crime in progress. The Seattle Police Department is proactive in its response. Seattle cops have dealt with Twitch before. On the official Seattle PD Twitch channel, officers played games and discussed procedures. They used the channel while playing Destiny, Two, on a very sensitive case in which officers shot and killed a pregnant black woman with a history of mental illness. After much criticism, the Seattle Police Department stopped using Twitch. A new feature that uh, Twitch is rolling out is a sub-only stream feature. Subscriber-only streaming feature. Previously, streams were open to all, regardless of subscriber count. Let's go, 200 IQ, dude. Twitch wants streamers to be able to reward super fans like subscribers, VIPs, and moderators as they see fit. Would you take the goddamn $600 donation out of the way? Copyrighted oh, music is damn. frequently removed from videos of streamers. Sometimes what? because a game they were playing included an offending track. This isn't a new idea. Many streamers use Patreon to fund their content. Twitch just made it official. New Twitch trend. Chickens, goats, and bees. Erica Hopkins blogs about raising goats as the goat chick. Also has a 24-7 Twitch broadcast where she films her goats from various angles. Not only Hopkins goats have their own shows, a small but dedicated group of streamers curate informative and entertaining animal streams. Her stream is often used to discuss mental health. My community is particularly interested in the mental health benefits. A friendly, relaxing atmosphere is created by her and similar streams. Streamer sparks debate over breastfeeding. 
It is unclear whether Twitch's streamer's live breastfeeding of her baby violated the platform's rules of service, with some claiming breastfeeding is sexual content. A clip of Kent and her friend discussing a Sports Illustrated modeling audition was uploaded to Livestream Fail on Twitch. Kent was casually nursing her baby in this clip. Many Livestream Fail posters were displeased, accusing breastfeeding streamers of making money by exposing their bodies. That if breastfeeding on stream is allowed, Twitch will soon be flooded with women using newborn babies as Trojan horses to deliver the ultimate payload. The dreaded exposed female nipple is what Kent finds most objectionable. Because, you know, one of the biggest misconceptions that we have to combat as far as being in the army. Oh my gosh. Please. 2020. Sleep streaming. People are apparently being paid to sleep while live streaming on Twitch. <laughs> Matthew Mizkiff Renato earned over $5,600 by sleeping during one of his streams. Your boy got an article written about me. However, right, some Twitch viewers were confused and baffled by Miss Kiff's schedule. Does anyone actually sleep doing this shit? What? Twitch Purge deletes thousands of streamers' videos. Following music industry pressure, hundreds of streamers had films or clips removed for copyright violations. Please don't shoot. Twitch has removed problematic clips rather than simply alerting broadcasters and allowing them to take action. Please do not sue me if i have broken the rules or guidelines please let me know hey but dmca fiasco continues in response to copyright claims and muted vods caused by removed in-game sound effects and footage twitch issued a lengthy apology three weeks later it also clarified that twitch began receiving thousands of dmca notifications per week in may up from around 50 per year prior. Twitch wrote, we sincerely apologize and promise to improve. US law could slap streamers with felonies. Given the stakes, the latest must pass the law includes controversial proposals that would fail on their own. So that to me says that they will be enforcing this law once it's in effect. One of them would make copyrighted material streaming illegal. Senator Tom Tillis authored and supported the felony streaming bill. It is suggested that commercial streaming of copyrighted content will become a progressive policy publication. A song in an Instagram story would be a felony offense, according to the American Prospect. For now, because streaming is considered a public performance, all offenses are misdemeanors. The policy that benefits big entertainment at the expense of the masses is easy to understand. Big corporations have given Tillis's campaign committee and leadership over $100,000 in recent years. U.S. Army tricking viewers with fake giveaways. Potential recruits can find the U.S. Army on Twitch. After banning viewers who inquired about war crimes. Dirt for sale, what's up, man? Oh, cool. Nice. Have a nice time getting banned, my dude. Fake controller giveaways linked to recruiting sites were common on the Army channel. Twitch claims it stopped the Army due to criticism. In chat, viewers could win an Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. A link to a recruitment page was provided but there was no mention of a contest, odds, or total number of winners. This obvious deception was allegedly stopped by Twitch. Twitch promotions must follow all laws. The US military also sponsors Twitch Rivals, the company's esports brand and channel. The Army's logo will appear on esports broadcasts featuring popular games like League of Legends, Valorant, and well, even chess. They moved our queen out much earlier. Commentators occasionally mention the Army which has irritated viewers. Combat as far as being in the army, while being in the army, to the army, to the army, we have over 100. Twitch streamers are opening thousands of dollars worth of Pokemon cards. Opening a Pokemon deck and finding a holographic Charizard meant bragging rights for a $100 eBay sale. Those old cards and boxes are now rare and expensive. There are popular Twitch activities. For a month, nostalgia has flooded streams. These boxes can be expensive. Streamers open packs and sort cards in front of the camera. For example, a first edition holographic dark Charizard 
sold for up to $9,000. The One True King streaming group was ecstatic when Ludwig Ogren unboxed a holographic Dragonite during a charity live. People can't look away because they could never do it, but they may be a part of it with their favorite creators. They may feel like part of a wealthy elite, having previously held many of these cards. How did you, how did you know? How, I know. How does he do it? Twitch suspended cosplayer slash body painter streamers. Twitch does not prohibit body painting on the face or chest. Body painting has its own category on Twitch. In spite of this, Twitch has suspended cosplayer slash body painter streamers who claim to have followed their rules. Obvious confusion in the rules and subsequent suspensions may give the impression of improper behavior, a desire to break the rules for illegal sexuality or other reasons. So some Twitch users attack artists who are simply trying to create art. Lady, can you say hello? Uh. Boys, today I lob it in in the middle. 2021. Ludwig's never-ending subathon. Ludwig Ogren's 14th of March broadcast had no end date. For 31 days, Ogren slept and streamed, late night podcasting and video chatting with I have his a fans. Question for you. A timer ticked away, but it wouldn't reach zero as long Your as viewers kept paying. <laughs> Making history was mostly a laid-back event. With this in mind, Ogren tried to make the subathon useful to others. I don't have a boyfriend. Twitch.tv has a boyfriend. He donated around $350,000 of his subathon profits. During the subathon, Ogren gained a million new Twitch followers, hundreds of thousands of paid subscribers, mainstream press coverage, and several social media trends. Twitch cracks down on viewbots. Viewbots, or fake viewers, are known to skew Twitch's statistics. In the Twitch ecosystem, they've long been used to deceive streamers into believing they're more popular than they are and to punish those who oppose them. They're just there to inflate the ego and to inflate the numbers. However, some famous broadcasters had a large bot following. Felix XQC Langyal lost 2.6 million followers in just a few days. They just removed them. So I lost like uh, 2 million followers, I think. This shocked Twitch fans. He still had 5.5 million, but it's gone down. Following of Chance, Soda Pop and oh, Morris dropped from 6.5 million to 3.3 million in a week. His followers oh, vanished in an instant. Shroud, Orion Play, and Myth all lost tens of thousands of followers. View count inflation persists on Twitch, so that tens of thousands of people appear to be watching when they are actually scrolling through. Twitch has done it on Reddit before. Twitch's homegrown Terminators are out looking for view bots. But the platform is far from transparent. Largest hot tub streamer loses ability to earn money from ads. The female Twitch streamer, Amaranth, can't run ads on her channel anymore. Twitch ignored her. Her entire ad revenue had mysteriously <gasps> vanished from her channel analytics. She was caught off guard because demonetization isn't widely known as a Twitch weapon. New Twitch category for hot tub section. Twitch created a category for hot tub streaming after advertisers and viewers complained about the trend taking over the site. The new pools, hot tubs, and beaches category is designed to make it easier for advertisers to block ads on broadcasts they don't like. The most cursed hot tub stream, George Not Found went out of his way to make his tub boy summer as painful as possible. Oh, he went down my back! A step down from the cheap inflatable tubs that have come to symbolize the meta, his PVC scaffolding tub had a body resembling an old air mattress. Quackity, a Twitch and YouTube star, joined Davidson. With his socks on, it hurt to watch, but he had an almost reasonable justification for it. Let's what go! What the hell is this? Pokimane and other offline TV streamers, not hot tub streamers, had over 100,000 concurrent viewers at their peak. Comparatively, Amaranth, the most popular hot tub streamer, gets around 20,000 viewers. 
Twitch has been hacked and its source code leaked. 125 gigabyte torrent link with Twitch's source code and commit history posted by an unknown hacker. The link also includes streamers' earnings from 2019 and information about Amazon's stream competitor, Vapor. 4chan described it as part one of an extremely poggers leak. The leak is intended to encourage more disruption and competition with online video streaming. We pwn them. They say, a large-scale leak will have immediate and long-term consequences. Twitch takes big-name streamers' earnings seriously, with millions at stake. A vapor store would be integrated into the Twitch platform, and this is only part one, implying that more information may have been compromised. This is bad news for Twitch. Its ramifications worried Amazon a lot. It costs 970 million and the hacker said he was giving it away for free. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.